so hello and welcome back so in this video we will talk about expanding place values or essentially expansion of expansion of the of the place values expanding place values is um, of course it's not something that you can use directly but it's something that you can use in order to understand other things and so of course when a number is given to you um, you should of course based on the the same idea of um, bags and bags of one and bags of ten and bags of hundred and so on and so forth for example if i give you a number as 78653 you know that there is three bags of one here because this is the one's place value there is five of those bags of ten because uh, this is the tens place value the hundreds place value the thousands place value the ten thousands place value so you know that there is sevens of there is seven of those ten thousand bags in this number right meaning there is essentially if you if you imagine that there is a there's there's this bag and there is 10,000 pebbles in this bag then there is seven of these bags in total in this number and then there is there is also bags of bags of thousand so um, so essentially what that means is that you have the bag containing a thousand pebbles and there is eight of these in this number there is for example um, the bags of the uh, hundred basically so if I imagine that there is the these bags containing hundred pebbles there is six of these there is five of those bags containing ten pebbles for example and there is three of those bags containing one pebble so that means that seven times times ten thousand would be would be seventy thousand uh, pebbles here Eight times a thousand would be eight thousand pebbles here. Six times a hundred would be six hundred pebbles here. Five times a ten would be fifty pebbles here. Three times a one is 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 a three, which means three pebbles here. Now I can write this down in the form of algebra, meaning that um, meaning that essentially I could I could I could essentially write seventy eight thousand six hundred fifty three. 653 is the same thing as seven of those 10,000 bags I means seven times 10,000 right plus there is plus mean means there is more right so there is eight of those thousand bags plus there is six of those six of those hundred bags there is five of those ten bags and there is three of those one bags right and of course you can you already i mean you can you can ex you can calculate these meaning that you can write this as seven times ten thousand would be seventy thousand and then eight times a thousand would be eight thousand and then six times a hundred would be six hundred and then five times a ten would be fifty and then three times a one would be three which means that essentially a seven eight thousand six hundred fifty three you can actually write it this way as well meaning you can write it as a seventy thousand plus an eight thousand plus a six hundred plus a fifty plus a three right so this is the idea of expanding a number and this essentially works for essentially all numbers of all number of digits meaning uh, if a number has for example two digits there is only these two types of bags in the in the number meaning there is bags of one there is bags of ten if a number has three digits that means that there is only these three types of bags in that number meaning bags of one ten and hundred if the number is four digits there is only these four types of bags and so on and so forth right so the idea is the same really so that means that essentially when if i say that for example a 78 
and 78 is a two digit number so there is bags of one and there is bags of 10 in the number which means that i can if i were to expand it i would write it as seven times a 10 plus basically eight times a one right and that means that this is a 70 plus an eight that's a very simple idea right or essentially a three digit number for example 278 so this is the this is the exact same idea 278 the exact same idea except that there is two bags of 100 in this number so that's a two times 100 plus seven times a 10 plus eight times a one that's essentially a three digit number meaning the expansion of a three digit number these are things that you can use in um, in, in in examinations of course i mean if, if in examination you are asked to expand the number expand this number for example you and then this way you can do it. but essentially all of these things you can uh, you can use in order to understand numbers now understanding numbers is 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 a is essentially is a valuable thing in and of itself okay and um, well the i mean the, the 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 kind of experience that i personally have with all of this basic mathematics basically is with the same line of ncert books so for example this 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 chapter that i'm doing is from the ncert book we have already talked about the book so you know what which book i'm talking about and this book the, i mean the only thing with this book is that of course this is just one chapter of one book meaning this is chapter for example this is chapter one of class six for example and then there is chapter two three four all the way up to i suppose 15 then there is class seven that has also a few chapters like 15 chapters there is class eight nine ten eleven twelve but then the whole thing if you if you're patient enough of course it takes a little bit of time basically and but it's a but it is it, it's it's a it's, it's 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 essentially in and of itself it's an interesting endeavor i mean everything that you read in these in these mathematics books i back then many some years ago i started creating courses of these of these books and even i myself i was i was i was teaching the books really but I had a whole lot of fun teaching these books. There is geometry in there, there is algebra in there, there is coordinate geometry in there, there is two-dimensional coordinate geometry, three-dimensional coordinate geometry. But the only thing is that you have to start from the beginning, meaning, for example, class six, class all the way up to class five is very basic, meaning it's not that formal really but you have to start from class 6 and go all the way up to class 12 that gets you all the way up to calculus and then after that you have to you can start reading calculus for example if you want to study physics or chemistry or some sort of science computer science something like that right but if you if you're patient enough to understand it everything becomes very uh, i mean everything that you read in these books apart from the examination part it's just i mean it's just the most interesting thing i've ever seen in my whole life apart from other interesting things of course anyhow now um so so essentially in this number then you can see that 278 is you can write it as two times a hundred seven times a ten and eight times a one which is the same thing as a 200 plus a 70 plus an eight right so
So in this number, for example, you can say that you can say that the um, that the so you can say that the that the digit two is at the is essentially is at the the digit two is at the hundredth place value, digit seven is at the tenth place value, and the digit eight is at the ones place value, right? Or for example, um, we can of course use the same idea of expanding as as because it's it's the exact same idea of course it's it's not not it's not anything new. You can expand this to no, to numbers of four digits, for example, five thousand two hundred seventy eight right five thousand two hundred seventy eight is the is you can write it as this is the one's place value ten hundred and a thousand so that's five times a thousand and then you have two times for example a um, hundred and then you have for example seven times a ten and then you have eight times a one right which is the same thing as a five thousand plus a two hundred plus a seventy Plus, plus an 8 right and then again in this number you can say that 5 is at the thousands place value 2 is at the hundreds place value 7 is at the tens place value and 8 is as is at the at the ones place value right and so for example and the same idea you can of course use it for uh, five digit numbers for example a 45,000 45,278 this number also you can write it as for example this is the 1 10 hundred thousand ten thousand so 4 is at the 10,000 place value 5 is at the thousand place value 2 is at the hundreds place value 7 is at the tens place value and 8 is at the ones place value so you can write this number as 4 times for example a 10,000 plus 5 times a thousand plus 2 times a hundred plus 7 times a 10 plus 8 times a 1 right and so um, that's essentially the whole idea here um, now if you of course you can you can you can uh, i mean you can i can give you a couple of ex exercises to do after this video for example a twenty thousand a twenty thousand can be written as for example two times a ten thousand uh plus for example zero zero times for example a thousand plus for example zero times a hundred plus for example zero times a ten right plus zero times a one and of course you know that zero times any number is zero so then you can write this as a twenty thousand plus for example a zero plus a zero plus a zero plus a zero which is the same thing as 20,000 which means that which means that the 20,000 is the same as the 20,000 right so and then using the same idea you can you can expand these numbers for example the 26,000 or for example the 38,400 or for example the 65,000 740 or for example or for example um, and some something like 89,324 or for example 50,000 or for example 41,000 or for example a 47,000 300 or for example a 57,000 
630 or for example at 29,485 or for example 29,000 uh, 29,085 uh, or for example a 29 to 20, for example or for example a uh, 20,005 right so you can you can essentially you can as an as an exercise you can expand these numbers essentially how see how they work for you the more that you do essentially the more that you do exercises in mathematics of course the better you're going to to learn the learn essentially all of the concepts that you're going to need later on for other things and um that's just about it so i hope that this video was helpful i will see you in the next video and thank you